Welcome back to the award-winning Brad Miller time. Uh, unfortunately, my co-host, Brett Hextall, he actually had to go take a test. Uh, here at Brad Miller time, we stress uh, academics very much so. Um, you know, Brett, his dedication to the show that he has, he says, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this, this test review that he's going to go to so I can help with the show. I said, Brett, no. I care about our academics. I want you to go to the review. I'll take care of the show. That's just, you know, that's what Brett Hextall is like. You know, he has so much dedication to what we do. And, you know, I just couldn't let him skip that review. I knew how much that review meant to him because he wants to do really good on his test. But moving on to the episode, um, you know, as a hockey nation, people often get confused about a lot of the, the hockey lingo that we use. And you got people like, you know, an Andy McWilliam, the animal. Joe the Flash Gleason or Dan Christo who uh you know he's very American and I've played with a lot of Europeans they don't speak great English you can't understand them it's it's awful to have a conversation with them but then you got guys like Dan Christo who's probably the most American on the team he actually has an American tattoo on him and uh you can't understand anything the guy's saying it's uh you know it's awful but today we're going to we're going to have a little chat with Dan. We got Dan's translator. And uh, why don't we go uh, talk to Dan? Here we are with our guest, Dan Christo, and his translator, Joe Gleason. Joe roomed with, uh, with Dan in the dorms last year, so he got to understand Dan's language. And, uh, you know, I'm not really sure what Dan's talking about half the time, but, you know, we're just going to have a little combo with Dan here. How does that sound there, Dan? Uh, sounds, sounds great to me, Mario. All right, Dan, why don't you just tell me about, uh, you know, what's your, like, morning routine? Like, what do you do in the mornings? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, usually the bu buzzer goes off. You know, wake up from my uh, my shutsy, uh, head to the bathroom, you know, brush my jibbers, uh, you know, after that. You know, maybe go make some brekkie, you know, hang out, watch a little tube, and then, you know, see where the day's, see where the day's headed. Joe, can, uh, what, what's Dan talking about? Uh, well, Dan said he's waking up from his shutzi. I'm pretty sure that means he's waking up from his nap time or just waking up from the night before. He's going to go to the bathroom and brush his jibbers, which means his teeth. He's going to brush his teeth. He's going to make some brekkie, which is just your, your daily breakfast. And then he's going to go out with his day. Well, it's very confusing for such a, for such simple tasks, but it's just... That's his language, and Dan. What uh, after you do all this jibber brushing and all that stuff? What uh, what goes on after that? Maybe go to school, go to the rink. What uh, what's your routine after that? Yeah, you know, uh, head to school every now and then, learn a couple things in the books. You know, we stress academics here. We all know that. Um, and I usually head to the rink. You know, love coming to the rink every day. First thing I do, you know, check out my twig. Obviously, twig's very important. You know, you take care of your twig, it takes care of you. Check out my TJ, you know, maybe it needs a little wax job, you know, never know that. Make sure my, you know, make sure my KJ is doing good, you never know. Uh, maybe need that needs a little touch up, you know. Check out the laces, check out the wheels, you know, bare essentials so, so I can go out and have a good practice or a game. What uh, what in God's name is uh, Dan the Man talking about? This one's a little harder. Uh, even I didn't catch a couple of those. I know that uh, going to the rink and uh, working on his Twiggy, that's his. Uh, that's his hockey stick. Um, his TJ would be his his tape job on his hockey stick. Uh, warm up the mitts. You know, it's his hands. His, his work on his stick handling. I have no idea what KJ means, so he's gonna have to explain that to us right now. Dan, what what does that mean? Knob, knob job. You know. Oh, his knob on his stick. My okay, that makes a lot more on sense. His stick, yeah. Uh, like, what do you do, you know, warm up, you warm up the middies and stuff like that? What uh, what kind of things do you do so you can be prepared for practice? Yeah, you know, a player like I am, I, I love going out there a little bit early. Warm up the middies, you know, huck a little sauce, you know, you know, maybe a couple tea drags, sauce, cottage cheese, back doors, you know. That's just the type of player, that's, that's just my game, you know, and uh, that's what I got to do to be successful. That's what I do, so I got to head out there early and just, you know, head out there and do that stuff. Joe? Okay, well, when he says huck sauce, that means a saucer pass when you pass the puck in the air. Uh, he warms up his middies and throws some tea drags. That is a toe pull when you put the puck on your stick on your toe. You pull it back to you. 
and uh, going back door, throwing sauce, cottage cheese. Uh, cottage cheese means the middle of the net. He uh, usually low blocker, low glove. That's usually where Dan shoots. I'm speechless, but, you know, Dan, why don't you tell me about uh, what goes on in uh, the life of Dan Crystal, maybe in the evening or something like that? Yeah, evenings usually uh, head home, you know, make a little dinsky or whatever. Uh, sometimes Thursday nights, hopefully we'll get a Team Funky going, you know, all that stuff. You know, I'm all for the boys, you know, that's, that's, what I, that's the most important thing in my life is the boys. Um, after that, you know, maybe Ritual, watch a little movie, watch a little color time with the guys. Uh, after that, probably... Uh, you know, Shutter Island, you know, get ready for the next day. Shutter Island, that was a good movie. I like that Shutter Island movie. No, he's not uh, talking about Shutter Island, the movie. He's actually talking about going to bed. That's what he means, shuts the island, take a nap, go to bed. Um, a Dinsky dinner, it's a little easier to understand. Team Funky function, basically he's just shortening everything and making it easier for him to say. That's a, a lot of confusing stuff. You know, abbreviates everything. Sometimes he makes his abbreviations longer than the actual word, uh, which is confusing. Yeah, Shutter, Island. Shutter, Shutter Island is way longer than bedtime or sleep. Nap? A lot of dirt nap. What's a dirt nap? Dirt nap is more 45 minutes to an hour. Shutter Island's more a longer sleep, 7 to 10 hour period. That is extremely confusing. But then again, it's your language. What is there? Do you have a name for this language? Uh, I basically just call it hockey lingo for the boys. For the boys. For the boys. Yeah, it just means he wants to do it for his teammates. Well, that's all we got. You know what, Dan? It's been a pleasure having you on. I'm glad we could educate our viewers. <clears throat> you know, maybe when you're you know doing interviews out around town. People are going to talk. They're going to know what you're talking about now. And uh, Joe, I appreciate you translating. It uh, helps me out sometimes because I don't understand Dan half the time. But, uh, guys, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Mario.